Shalom everyone from the heart of Yerushalayim. Just wanted to wish you a Gemar Chatima Tova. May your prayers, our prayers, break through the gates of heaven. May it be a meaningful fast. It's been a, a very difficult year, as we know, starting on the 7th of October with the horrific, catastrophic and barbaric attack. 1,200 beautiful Jewish and Israeli souls taken from us. Of course, before that, there was probably too much Sinat Hinam, disunity, issues of morality, um, and we needed a wake-up call. It was a massive reset button. And since then, there is strength, there's resilience. We've got our deterrence back and we're fighting the Arab enemy. We realize that handing away the land is not right. We realize that Sinat Hinam is not appropriate. When we break the covenant, it's a problem. The whole of the Tanakh is full of the fact that when Am Yisrael broke the covenant, there was an enemy that came. Then there was a Moshia, there was a savior. We fought, we destroyed everyone and there were 60, 40, 60 years of, of quiet. Hopefully we'll have that and even more, but it means internally, personally, looking at ourselves, how we can improve, how we can get close to Hashem. Of course, at a national level, we need to defeat the enemy, which is exactly what's happening because the Lion of Judah has risen. Our job today is primarily to strengthen the, the Heavenly Dome, the Iron Dome, the Jerusalem Dome. They want Yerushalayim, they want El-Aqsa, but they're not going to get it because we're going to keep on fighting and strengthening Jewish life in the heart of Yerushalayim to keep Yerushalayim united and in Jewish hands forever. Only when we are united in that ark we will defeat any flood. Wishing everyone once again a Gemara Chatanotua.